They sure have, Effie. Usually when you're looking for a business to buy, you want to make sure that the numbers tell a positive story so that you know you've got a solid, profitable business. But if you know what to look for and you're ready to take a bit of a risk, then maybe an underperforming store is just the opportunity for you. I wanted to be my own boss for two reasons. Firstly, so I could work with my wife. And secondly, we could both control our own destinies. When you first started looking at businesses to buy, what was it that you were looking for? We were looking at a business that my wife and I could work together in and one that we could engage with customers. We didn't want to buy a overly successful store. We wanted an underperforming store with opportunity. It had to be a growing area. The shop itself had to be in a very good location. Uh, had to be a lot of surrounding businesses and there had to be a lot of foot traffic coming in. Is there a difference between an underperforming store versus a poorly performing store? With an underperforming store, what I put that as under benchmarks set, both by the franchisor and the Australian Taxation Office, also uh, poor customer service and poor product display. As opposed to a poor performing store, I took that at they were losing money. So what did you do to turn the business around? staff culture, changing the staff culture to one of engaging with customers, making them more welcome, but also the store presentation wasn't very good. It didn't have enough cakes. We wanted a lot more cakes, a lot more colour, because we're right at the front of the shopping centre, so when people walk past, it's like instant advertising and they can see what we have. What were some of the things that you, you really wanted to work on with your team? Well, what we wanted was suggestive selling, uh, as well as identifying a customer when they walked in by name and personalising it. And we set up a, a loyalty card system in shop where we kept their coffee orders, their names, so we got to know them. So at any stage were you scared or worried that you weren't going to be able to turn this business around? No, when you go into a business, whether it's an underperforming or a brand new one, you've got to go in with a positive attitude and you've also got to have a business plan. If you follow your plan, it will be successful. So business planning is an active ingredient for your business? Absolutely. What advice would you have for somebody that's in a similar position that you were in looking into an underperforming business? Well, it's to identify the weak points so you know if you correct those, will the business increase? That's the most important, and it's also getting a staff culture that is shared with yourself and the franchise all, and then the business will start to grow. Well, thanks so much for your time today, Greg. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for coming to Toronto, and now we can share a coffee. <laughs>